A very pleasant what's happening to you all. I'm Calvin Lincoln, and welcome to another edition of Soul School. And as you well know on Soul School, you guys know I'm a track and field fanatic as well as a music fanatic. I really don't know which one I like better. I really don't. Right now, I'm in the middle of track season, so I'm in that track mode. And uh, I'm joined by a very close friend. Well, he's not a friend. This is my brother. This is Coach Lewis Pugh, formerly of Vallejo, very well known in the Solano area, Fairfield, Vacaville. All of his kids that goes to Vacaville High, they pretty much will be at this. I'll let him talk about it. I'm just so excited because, you know what? Brother Pugh, I'm going to act like I just normally act this over the air. I'm so excited because for the first time, it seems like in since we've been out doing track and field, and you were out probably a year or so before me, it has never been this good. And uh, I want to get your comments on just track and field and what's going on up here in the association with the uh, AAU and USATF and high school. And there's nobody better to talk about it than yourself, man. Well, there's a lot of things going on. You know, it's too much. We don't probably don't have enough air time to go over everything. It, it's just that it's, it's good to see the torches being taken to the next level. Uh, you know, a few years ago when we had Trinity Wilson and, and Sasha Wallace and my daughter, they were all going at it at in the 100 hurdles uh, and the 300 hurdles. And now there's a new, you know, sheriff in town, and they're, they're doing the same thing. They're taking it to the South, and the South is – bringing their best uh, at the state. So it's going to be an exciting, you know, state meets, exciting masters, exciting division run to see these young ladies and young men make their run towards the state, especially in Vacaville with the uh, 4x4 boys team. They were number five. I think they still are number five in the state right now. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if they can take it all the way. Hercules uh, uh, High School boys are number, I think, number two in the state. Uh, interesting, they, they run 315. Uh, tying with one of the best times in, in the state right now. So very excited about the whole track and field and the, and the state run right now. Now, you're closest to my heart, which is youth track and field. That's where you kind of got it started with your daughter and you introduced my boys um, into it. And it just seems like right now the association, as far as all of us up here, it has never been this good. I mean, it's been a long time. We got youth girls. We got youth boys. We got bad midgets. We got bad bannels. We got, you know, bad sub bannels. Yeah. And uh, we're getting to a point now where uh, we got a couple of real big meets coming up. Well, we got three or four real big meets coming up. But it's incredible because we have two serious meets on the same day, which is, I believe, the 17th and the 18th of May. We have right. the 3M Invitational, and then we have the real big Tommy Smith Invitational, in which Tommy Smith, for those you may not know, was part of the great Speed City Track Club, um, San Jose State, him and Lee Evans and all those guys. And uh, you've always been a big advocate for uh, the Tommy Smith meet, which is always an incredible meet. You want to talk about it a little bit? Uh, yeah, a little. Uh, Tommy Smith meet is, uh, is is an AAU meet, of course, and it, and it provides uh, some uh, opportunity for kids for their first time ever running track to con participate uh, in their first year, uh, especially uh, kids that are seven, eight years old. They don't have to compete against eight, nine-year-old kids. They can compete against a seven-year-old and stay in their age range. Whereas in the USA TF, you're usually your first year, you're going to have to be a tough for uh, two years before you can even show yourself. Uh, I think both are good. The, the, the 3M meet is a great meet. Organized, precision, precise. You know, you can't ask for a better meet. But on the other hand, you need kids. We have a lot of young kids that are first time ever. And going out there and competing against kids that have been running two and three years is a little tough on them. It's a little discouraging. So we try to support both. And we uh, primarily uh, go to the AAU because most of our kids are brand new. You know, the other thing, too, that you neglected to mention, and I'm going to bring this up and I'm going to let you really get into it. Mm -hmm. The thing I love about that Tommy Smith meet, they make a big deal out of it like it's the Nationals. You know, they're yeah. up on the podium. Um, the, you know, everybody's bringing their banners around. There's a yes. big parade before yes. the meet even gets started. I mean, it's a, I mean, you want to talk about that a little bit? Oh, yes. I've been to uh, probably all of the Tommy Smith meets since the inception of them uh, here in the Bay Area. Uh, you know, they had, you know, you know, TV actors have gone there to represent uh, the Bay Area. In, in uh, one particular, Mark Curry was one of the actors that came out and paraded and, 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 and you know, 
produce, introduce himself to the kids, and, and the kids loved it. Uh, they, they like having known faces that they can recognize, and the kids have a lot of fun at the Tommy Smith meet. It's all about fun. It's a two-day meet uh, on the campus of UC Berkeley. Uh, perfect setting for kids that are have aspiration about going to college. So this is, is not a better meet in the area right now for kids of all ages and all you know levels of training. And that's May 17th and 18th, if I'm if I'm correct. Yes. You definitely want to get on. That's at UC Berkeley. In case we neglected to mention that UC Berkeley, May 17th and 18th, you definitely want to get out and check that out. Because from what I'm hearing this year, um, don't quote me, but I'm almost sure that John Carlos is actually going to be at this. And, uh, you know, for me, that Speed City Track Club thing that went down for Mexico City from 68, um, if nothing else, you guys, if you're just a casual track fan, to get a chance to get this, you know, this close to cats like that. And then also, too, before I forget, yeah. before I forget, I got to thank you, brother. Mm. You turned me on to Eddie Hart, me. Oh, and man. Eddie Hart forget, was yeah. the first cat, the, the first Olympics I ever watched was Munich that I can actually really recall. Mm, yeah. The, yeah, and um, Eddie Hart, Robert Taylor, and those guys, man. And um, he basically told me, come on out to the meet. You want to have no problems getting on the field. It was this cat. And uh, I met Eddie Hart. I had met him before, but this was my chance to really get a chance to talk to him. And he stayed on me, and he stayed on me, and I went, and it was the best time that I've ever had mm -hmm. at a track meet dealing with a celebrity, man. And you supported that meet for six years straight. Oh, you want to yeah. talk about that a little bit? Oh, yes. I've always supported Eddie Hart and his foundation. Uh, excellent. They not only do the track meet, they do uh, clinics and support kids. They do education clinics they've done a clinic where they uh, help the parents uh, to, to try to learn how to financially support their children in college very great foundation uh, Eddie Hart's son you can't forget him he's uh, he's 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 a spitting image of his of his dad uh, he's like the the the, the, the what you call the uh, bread and butter of the operation he does all the hard work and the running around and getting things together uh now that he you know he's of age now to help his dad out it's been it's been great i i can't think of no other reason uh to not support it because it, it's, it's helping our youth and it's helping our us take our youth to to the next level so it, it's it's i get more joy from it than probably the kids uh, you know it helps me grow as a as a as a person to just be there and supporting people that are trying to do the best they can with what they have and and this is not only for kids that are financially in a situation where they can pay for college these are for inner city kids that uh uh, you know, first generations uh, are going to college for the first time, and this is their opportunity that, to show the world that they're able to make that next step. So it, this is tremendous. I, I wish a lot of corporate sponsors need to come to these events to see what these kids are doing. I've seen these kids from six years old, and now these kids are in college. My first kid that I coach is now in college now. So uh, that was what uh, – 13, 14 years ago. So to see these kids now in college and getting their degree, so it is possible. And through track and field, if we work hard enough and support the kids from the inception all the way up until high school and college, it is possible. These kids do go to school, they do graduate, and they do become productive citizens in our community, providing uh, all sorts of, uh, uh, of, of things for us, to, you know, for our future in, in the United States. You know, one thing I want to bring up before we get to some entertainment real quick is Eddie Hart has a clinic that will be going on, kind of Olympian type of clinic, that'll be Sunday, Saturday, May 10th, that'll be at Pittsburgh High School, where we were just at last week, right. in Millard Hampton, Silver Creek High School, silver medalist from the 76 Montreal Olympics, James Robinson. It'll be a bunch of people there, so you definitely want to go and check that out. That'll be Saturday, May 10th, at Pittsburgh High School, and that place has a brand new redone yeah. Fantastic track, all weather yeah, nine. Yeah. I mean, just it's it's just it's absolutely magnificent. A real quick thought before we get to some entertainment. Hey, hey, come out to the Tommy Smith meet. Come out to the uh, uh, the. Uh uh, the 3M track and field meet, which is on the same day. Hey, maybe you can get a chance to go to the 3M meet on Saturday, go to the Tommy Smith on Sunday or vice versa. But come out, support the kids. If you don't have kids in track and field, come out and support the kids anyway uh, and, and, and have fun. And, you know, congratulate those kids. Be a, a sponsor for these kids. Promote them into the next level. Th these kids are our future. And let's get out there and support our community. Let's get to some entertainment real quick. And we'll be back. Um, 
right back with Coach Pew. I'm so excited. We haven't had this much fun up here with track and field uh, since we've been out. Let's get to some entertainment really quick, and we'll be right back. Yeah, and don't forget, May 17th and 18th at James Logan High School, we have the 3M Invitational, which is big, and even bigger, we probably have the, uh, well, we do have the Tommy Smith Invitational, which will be at UC Berkeley. That will be May 17th and 18th. That will feature... Tommy Smith will be there amongst other different people. And then also don't forget Eddie Hart's clinic, which will be May the 10th at Pittsburgh High School with James Robinson, Miller Hampton, and all those different people. And before we get out of here, man, brother, I got to really congratulate you. Um, it's brothers like you and Mike Wilson that really, really keep me going. And, uh, you know, even when I don't attend the Nationals, I've missed the Nationals the last couple of years or whatever. I'm always online looking at what you do, man, whether you're in New Orleans, whether you're in Iowa, whether you're in Detroit. I'm following you big time, brother. I'm following you, man. Don't, I mean, whatever you do. And one thing that I do want to um, say is I really appreciate the coaches because mm -hmm. nothing in it for y'all but an empty pocketbook. Oh, yeah. A lot of times some crazy parents. I'm just going to be real. I'm keeping it real. <laughs> But at the end of the day, you send the kids to school. Y'all, you guys are sending kids to school, man. And brother, you can't beat that. You're gonna be so blessed, man. Oh, thank, thank you. You know, it's it's, it's like I said, I I, uh, I do it for lo the love of it. It's nothing. I don't, ex you know, try to receive anything from it other than that I I get joy in helping. Uh, it's not for any kind of monetary return. Uh, God has blessed me and my family and blessed uh, my daughters and they're both in college and, and I can't ask for anything more. My family's healthy and they're, they're doing well. So this is only a, just a portion of what I can give back. I know there's a lot more uh, and I can, that I can do and I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that I can be able to do that in the future. Brother, anything you need from me, man, you know I'm there. You know I'm there with the videotape, man. I'm not playing. I'm there. You just tell me where to come, and I'm there, brother. Yes, that's his help. I mean, that, I, that's how I got through the years of success that we've had is because of your taping. We was able to study the tapes and go over and, and use those as tools to help us move forward. So without the taping, we wouldn't have gone where we got. We were able to not only see our own kids, we were able to see the competition. So, hey, kudos. It's keep keep that going. Yeah. yeah. Hey, for Lewis Pugh, for myself, we out of here. God bless you all. We'll see you all next time. Yeah.